Thanks for rolling up. To Bill Marley, is a certified pilot. <laughs> no, this uh. Hey, know this uh D eight cart, bro. Wait until my uh homie and shit. Know what I mean? Get uh back in town so I can grab grab some more dank up and shit, bro. Let's go ahead and jump into um. Jump into today's story, bro, so we can see what we got going on around these pieces. Now to developing news at the Rhode Island State House today, both the House and Senate are expected to vote on legislation that will legalize recreational marijuana. Now, if it's approved. Hold on real fast, my dude. Yo, we was watching a couple weeks ago when, uh, when Rhode Island decided that they were going to try to try to push for uh recreational in the state because remember you know you know where rhode island is located that's 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 new england up there with new york connecticut massachusetts maine vermont New Hampshire, all that type of shit so everywhere around like like all around rhode island there's legal weed recreational and Rhode Island was just sitting there, you know what I mean, sitting on their hands, not doing shit. A couple months ago, they decide, you know what I mean, they're going to uh, jump all the way in. And I think these niggas, I think these niggas jumped in and stayed submerged, my dude. Approved and signed into law by the governor, possession would immediately be legal for adults 21 and over. At new at 5:30, we're hearing from the Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association, which has concerns with the legislation. And of course, the goddamn police have concerns. Of course, the police have concerns. Let's 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 let's, let's try to let's try to let's try to break it down for a second, my dude. Would you want to do something quick? And efficient. You do it quick and efficient. Rhode Island is holding a vote in both the House and the Senate at the same time on this on this uh on this recreational marijuana. They're not sending that shit to the House, waiting two months, send that shit to the Senate. Nah I'm gonna do. Same day, bruh. We voting. Y'all niggas vote. Get that shit to the gov, bruh. That's how that's how you make moves, bruh. That's how you make moves, bro. You don't stall. You don't wait around. You know what I mean? The people of Rhode Island said they want the shit. These motherfuckers is giving it to them, bro. That's how you do it. Including potential safety issues and how it's going to be regulated. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to the association. She joins us now from the State House with the details. Here are the concerns for police. Their inability to test drivers for smoking marijuana and to the bills making it legal to smoke marijuana where smoking is allowed. They say these bills, as written, are detrimental to public safety. Hold on, stop playing with me. You say, you say. All right, all right. So the issue, the issue that you want to address is that, you know what I mean? People are going to be, going to, going to be smoking, smoking, smoking dank and, uh, and uh, driving and shit. Like, like, motherfuckers is already smoking dank and driving. So I don't think I don't think that could be valid, bro. The Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association made clear their opposition to legalizing marijuana in the state. Police chiefs and officers are gathered in numbers at the state house and unity while it's taking place. We'll take a look over the gallery and see the law enforcement officers that stand up there. That aside, the association says the bills before the General Assembly have too many public health and safety loopholes. Really what we're dealing with here is these are going to be violations of policy. So there's not going to be any uh, criminal side to it, uh, which then leads to who's going to investigate, who can <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. Every time, every time uh, something, something happens where motherfuckers get close to uh, being, in, being able to uh, get their shit together, whether you know what I mean, it'd be it be uh being able to get weed through through. The goddamn uh police wanna come throw some bullshit in there. Always wanna come throw some bullshit in there. Listen, now I mean, um, if weed is legal, you don't have to investigate the shit. What is your idea? 
that you know what I'm saying weed is going to be legal and then all of a sudden people just going to run around shooting you when all fuckers over weed. Stop playing the fucking game, bro. Stop playing the game. Handles those. Executive director of the Police Chiefs Association, Sid Wardell, says there are three main concerns. Wardell says there is no legal or commercially viable test to detect the presence of marijuana among motorists, a lack of safeguards to discourage marijuana impaired driving, and equating marijuana to cigarette smoking, making Every time, every time a state decides to go recreational marijuana, they bring up the argument of uh, marijuana impaired drivers. And the fact that you can't test for marijuana, fuck that, bruh. Fuck that right in the butt, bro. Um, there are there are drivers on the road right now that are high. Um, high driving is not. Well, I'm not going to say it's it's, it's riskless. It's not the same risk as drinking and driving. Marijuana. Although it does slow you slow your reaction time down. Like, you, like you, I'm not gonna sit here and say marijuana it does not slow your reaction time down when you're driving this shit. It do. But it's not the same it's not the same as, as when you drunk driving, bruh. That's just nowhere near the same, bruh. Making it legal wherever smoking is allowed. And not lined up with uh, many of the laws that we have around alcohol, which we think is more appropriate. The bill's sponsor said as the legislation does not legalize driving. I stopped it there because I wasn't, I wasn't, I mean, 100% sure what he was saying. But this is what he was saying. He was saying that uh, marijuana is going to be treated like, like, like uh, cigarette smoking versus being treated like um, alcohol use. Which, I'm not sure how I feel about. I'm not sure how I feel about. Because, all right, if you treat, if you treat marijuana like cigarette smoking, you, um, you, uh, you, uh, let people smoke at 18. Not, 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 not terrible. Not ideal. Treat it like alcohol. You can't. You can't smoke till twenty one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to th what to think about that, bro. And then, like, see, see, uh, I don't know if um, Rhode Island is a Commonwealth state. Like in PA, is a Commonwealth state. So, so um, if you treat, if you treat, if you treat. Uh, marijuana like alcohol in Pennsylvania you have um, state controlled state controlled uh, stores that sell it you treat it like cigarettes in um, Pennsylvania you can sell that shit in any store that has a license to sell cigarettes uh, one gives you more access than the other but I'm not sure which way, which way, which, well, well, let's do it this way. If I was 18, I'd want you to treat it as cigarettes. But since I'm not, I want you to treat it like alcohol, bro. And not lined up with uh, many of the laws that we have around alcohol, which we think is more appropriate. The bill's sponsor says the legislation. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's better to treat marijuana as alcohol versus cigarettes. Legislation does not legalize driving while impaired. Police departments have tools that are already available. Um, they may not be the scientific uh, tools, but DREs are used in court to uh, recognize when people are uh, driving. Um. You hear my man's accent? Is that is that what a Rhode Island accent sound like? That shit sound like that nigga lived underneath Boston. Like that shit was the most Bostonian accent I ever heard in my fucking life.
under the influence. Now, Wardell says the Police Chiefs Association was not proactively included in talks during the drafting of these bills. If passed, he plans to work with the Cannabis Control Commission to help address his concerns. At the State House, I'm Anita Buffoni. Your last name is Buffoni? All right. Yo, I don't think the police need to, need to be involved, bro. I don't think the police need to be involved. The police been the ops the whole time for weed niggas. Yeah, police been the ops the whole time. Yeah, I wasn't with them niggas now. I mean, mean, coming up with rules. Fuck out of here, bro. Hell not. Nah. 